Hi and welcome to FairyTales channel. Today we'll talk about how to split your geometry for some additional boundary cases and boundary conditions or to create uh, different materials in your object or to apply for example lots, uh, masses and so on. So we have two uh, in the beginning same plates uh, with size 20 millimeters uh, to 100 millimeters and with five uh, with two millimeters height and uh, one of them already split it and the second are not and uh, for the first plate and beam we create fixation on this face and create load on this face which sometimes are adequate but sometimes are not because for example we need something like this to uh, hold this ruler and uh, when we apply force we apply force not to the edge not to this face but for some place which should look like this so uh, we can see that result are different both in uh, deformation and in stresses the maximum stresses are in very different uh, places as you can see so uh, that's why sometimes we need to do the splitting so how to do it and uh, how to apply we have two different ways to do that first inside of your CAD system and second directly inside ANSYS mechanical so let's choose ANSYS discovery as the first geometry uh, which in most cases uh, present with ANSYS mechanical and you can use it for do the splitting uh, if you have your own card system, for example, SolidWorks, SolidH, Fusion, uh, Autodesk, Inventor, Annex, and so on, you can do splitting in those card system and then send it into the ANSYS workbench. The one thing that you need to know that uh, if you do split phase operation, and uh, it can be tricky because not all CAD systems export uh, in the right way geometry with split faces. Uh, you need to find combination of standard uh, like step, edges and so on and some other approaches to send splitting phases. If you split geometry, split bodies, always, uh, it always work well. So in ANSYS uh, workbench, depending on your license, you will have three different uh, CAD system. It's ANSYS Discovery, it's ANSYS Space Claim and ANSYS Design Modeler. All three of them have possibility to split bodies and split faces, but the tools have some difference. I use most modern uh, cards from this trio, so it's ANSYS Discovery. As you can see, this object are already split. It has a split body in this place and it has split face here and as you can see it doesn't have split face here uh, but if we take a look into fixation we can see that this object split it in both ways so one of this uh, face came from discovery and the second we create inside of ANSYS mechanical so uh, let's try to repeat this uh, first of all let's split geometry into two bodies uh, you can use or combine tool but then 
you need uh, a additional geometry object or you can use split body to split like this so uh, we select this object we create plane we move this plane 10 millimeters in uh, this direction and now we are ready to split so split body select object and select something with which you will try to split you can select any um, face which are present in your geometry and uh, you can use surfaces and you can <coughs> use plane so uh, i use plane i split geometry after geometry has split it you can delete this geometry if you does not need uh, some things or you can press the control button and select new face to do new splitting for now it's everything okay so uh, escape and we have two bodies the next one uh, we can do splitting with some edges or with some points for example if we select uh, this geometry something like in this place you can see the size you will split geometry into several numbers of faces uh, Ctrl Z it's not the things that we want so let's split directly with the current numbers and so on uh, we select this face oops sorry we select this face and we select to draw a line or a rectangle boss it's enough for us i use the line tool so it became into sketcher and i draw the line from this point and to this point escape so we have a line now we add a dimension from this edge to our line and it will be 10 millimeters long and uh, when we exit the sketch for example with pull uh, tool using post pull tool we can see that it's already split it into two faces so uh, if you draw for example here this type of object and return also you can see that it's also will be a object which split our face into numbers okay this is ok and this will look the same so we will split an ansys mechanical now we need to return to ansys mechanical we need to update geometry from source and we will obtain the new geometry and this geometry depending on preferences in your ansys mechanical but in most case will not have a um, materials uh, because it's new body and you must control so the same material for now as in general on previous as you can see this our new objects and uh, as you can see the age are present here and now we need to create uh, the face like this inside of ansys mechanical 
So uh, we need to choose the model in outline tree. We need to uh, select model tab context and we need to uh, turn on virtual topology if it's not present in your model. In my model it's already present so it can be turned on. Here it is in outline tree but if we delete wall virtual topology we can see that our object not split it now and we can turn on virtual topology so now we can do some hard edges to create uh, forces which apply to point mass applied to point and so on uh, we can add some splitting of faces of or edges and so on we can merge some faces to create more proper mesh so uh, we need to split our geometry and we select something like here our age and we have possibility to split age at this point and as you can see now it's two edges and they have different colors uh, because it's virtual entity virtual topology and the second we select this one and split edge and in most case it splits on half so it's not the thing that we need so let's try to split our geometry oh sorry our geometry in the place we need unfortunately all this virtual entity are not present here in outline you can delete all virtual entities you can uh, sell, change them uh, go from one to another and delete if it's uh, not okay but it's not so simple it's be better if they present in virtual topology but okay you can use it now when we create uh, two vertices on these edges uh, we need to select a uh, vertices tool we select this to virtual points and use split face and now we have split face let's do the same things with this geometry and split face So something like that. Mm, no, something doesn't work properly. Ouch. Ah, okay. Everything's okay. As you can see, these splitting in ANSYS Mechanical are not so accurate as splitting in CAD system. Uh, it's more hard uh, to control the position, it's more hard to control everything. Uh, but for some sprint, for some uh, very speedy uh, approaches, you can use it. So we create geometry in reason that we have here a circle and a lot of splitting of this object we have uh, some problem here. Additionally we need to understand that when we create a split body 
uh, in most case it creates a contact region to glue this body one to another. Uh, we can change this behavior inside of ANSYS uh, discovery for the component we can use uh, transfer sharing and share topology it means that we will have not contact but the same mesh for both uh, object but they will be splitted and we can use for the object which we create any type of uh, another material so now we have things like this we uh, have possibility as you can see to add some fixation and to add some new forces for example so, please use it if you need it.